Hi, Ray. Hi. My hydroponic mistakes. We started this hydroponic deal about, what, two weeks ago, three weeks ago, and we made a few mistakes. Number one, we put these, when we did the cracky deal, we put these pieces of wood under here and put On the top. That was a big mistake. So half the plants didn't get the roots. Now some of these, some of these are And doing, what was your other mistake on that bed? Well, styrofoam's a little too thick. Yes, it is. So we could, we, well... We had problems finding an inch thick, so we yes. went for an inch and a half, and it was a little too thick. But some of the roots are going pretty good. Just lift the thing up. No, lift oh, it up. Yeah, yeah. You can see right under there. See, some of the roots are going through, but it was too high before. So the roots are supposed to go into the water. The second, the second mistake was putting this rock down. <laughs> really, dirt dirt would have been better because when we put the bucket in here, these rocks just keep on crowding into this bucket. Hopefully it won't uh, completely collapse. Is it affecting it. how you fill it? Lift it up. No. Let me see, it's really not affecting it, is it? Yeah, but it's starting to cave, it's starting to cave in a little bit. And the other oh, that mistake. White stuff you got floating in there. You need to clean your bucket life. out, I think, don't you? <laughs> the third mistake we made is these little things here. The drip hose. The drip hose. You can't just lay them in there like this. You gotta have. You gotta drill a few a hole. of them fell out, didn't they? Right. You gotta have a hole. And what happened? All you lose all your hydroponic flood. And then what? The motor what? burns. Oh burns yeah. Out. Then the motor burned out of the. Uh, the pump burned out, so I had to go get a new pump. Luckily, I bought Harbor Freight, and I got a guarantee, so it didn't cost me anything. So buy your pumps at Harbor Freight, because they do give you a warranty for like $1.95 for three years. Good deal. The other mistake was put these drip hoses in. Some of them drip, and some of them don't drip. Like this one here, this thing here, it's not even dripping. You got to really watch it. See, this one here yeah. is barely and, dripping. And this one here just shoots right yeah. And we got one that's shooting out <laughs> like crazy. So there's different ones for different... This one's a good one? Not so good. Yeah, I don't know the what the deal is with that. It's better when the, it's coming out. The other thing, too, is on your drain pipe, you got to make sure... See how that's tilted down a little bit? I got that tilted down, so if you don't have that pipe completely in there, it runs on the ground, then you're losing more water. Yeah, you gotta make sure your pipes are in the holes. But these are some of the plants. Explain your plants, Lydia. All your, what you got going. That, this one here is doing good. This one is the best one right yeah, here. That yellow was grown squash. from a seed. This is so yellow squash. This is doing real good. This is strawberries. Strawberries. There's more strawberries. We're just. And that's squash. We're just starting these Swiss out. Swiss chard there. There's Swiss, Swiss chard butter. back there. How's it? Oh, wait a minute. What wait are you minute. doing? Well, this one here, you don't have it in very deep. See? Yeah, put them deep enough so they support each other. They yeah, support right. themselves. And some of them are cucumbers, you know, cucumbers, the cucumbers and the squash, the leaves look the same to me. So I guess I'll just wait and see what the heck comes out. We got one tomato. It's doing pretty good. <laughs> These are jalapenos. Jalapeno peppers, yeah. And then that's um, um, snap, sweet snap peas, green peas, peas yeah. snap peas. And what you got in the cracky over here? The sugar peas, that's what they're saying. Here's doing good. That? Look at the root on that one. Let me see. That looks like a jalapeno. Yeah. That's a jalapeno. This is uh what's this here? Celery? Let me see. Nope, that's my tomato plant. Oh, that's a tomato plant. Cherokee. Oh, that's doing pretty good. Yeah. And here's spinach. That's look, doing really good. Look at the root on that spinach. Holy yep. moly. That's a long one. Yeah, that's a good one there. Wow. And what's this? More stitch? I believe so. Big roots. Now in these cracky, you don't have to run any water. It just It's the easiest way to do it. 
you don't lose anything. I don't know what this is. It's not doing much. That is corn lettuce. Corn lettuce. Okay. Corn lettuce. Well, thanks for watching today. Well, one thing about these hydroponic greenhouses, it's different in every part of the country. Now, we're in Alabama, so you really can't have a greenhouse, I don't think, in the summer here. It's too dang, it's too hot. So we're starting ours when it cools down in October, September and October. And uh, so it all depends on your what your weather is. The further north you go, it's different. But here it is too hot in the summer to do hydroponics inside. So uh, thanks for watching and subscribe if you can. And uh, 